All right. I don't want to waste any time. It is straight up top of the hour, and I'm excited to uh, get to turn it over to Lawrence Clark here in just a second to uh, one of the co-founders of the Wisdom Builders team to get to share with us some of his wisdom that's always just golden. Um, learned so much. But uh, before we do, just want to say good morning. Welcome again to another Wisdom Weekly. If for some reason you did not get the text you need to, and you're not on the team notification system, or maybe as importantly, if your team's not getting the text, your new promoters, and they're not getting on the calls, or they're not in the know, and they're not going to get texts about special incentives and product giveaways and convention uh, powwows and huddles and just ways we need to communicate with the Wisdom Builders team. Make sure they text 678-736-8071 with the initials WB for Wisdom Builders to get subscribed. If you're getting the text this morning, then you're already on the list and that's great. Um, I didn't get a chance. We had a bunch of step ups last month. I'm just going to rattle them off really fast because they're worthy of this praise. Uh, for rank advancing, but we had a bunch in the Wisdom Builders team in the month of May. So we will real quick managers, Susan Donaldson in um, under uh, Elizabeth Moore. We had Brody Jackson, uh, Brody and Courtney Jackson, I should say, as I'm looking at this, just it reminds me, if you want your recognition name to say something different than just one spouse's name or one friend's name or whoever your business partner is, you can now log into the back office of your website under account and change it to say whatever you want it to say. Um, but I know Brody, Brody is Brody and Courtney Jackson. Congratulations to you, brand new managers as well as Susan. Uh, Luis McCourtney uh, under Dwight Merrily Johnson under Zane McCourtney, new manager as well. Anna Burt, new manager under Campbell, under Hines, under Lawrence Marjorie Clark. Uh, Mandy Smith, new manager in uh, Tom and Amanda's team, and new senior managers now, 1,000 points or more. Um, Diana Lopez uh, in Frank and Hattie's team, congratulations to you, Diana. Zane McCourtney, sorry, wrong spot. Uh, skip Zane, we'll come back to Zane. Zane's got bigger and better things in store for him. Martha Rimming and Joel and Gabby Maris team, congratulations, another senior manager. Now on to executive managers. Uh, halfway to director Tom Bassett and Lee and Susan Adams team. Congratulations, Tom. Abby Cattelier. Again, I think that's Louie and Abby. Uh, you can log into your back office and change that if you'd like. Abby Cattelier under Joel and Gabby Merritt's team. New executive managers crushing it. Congratulations to you two. Erica Schmidt and Darla Rush's team. That's under the Creightons. Also in Lawrence and Marjorie Clark um, president's team. Congratulations to you, Tom Stipe. Hopefully I'm saying that right. And Shelly and, Le and Gary Lazone's team, part of the Josh and Chelsea Clark world team. Congratulations, Tom. Sean and Danielle Taggart from Indiana. Again, part of um, Joel and Gabby Merritt's team. So they had a couple executive managers in their team in the month of May. Congratulations, Sean and Danielle. Um, directors, this is where you belong, Zane at least for another couple of months until you move on to Emerald. Congratulations, Zane McCourtney, new director last month in Dwight and Mary Lee Johnson's team, giving them their fourth leg on uh, first month of two Ruby. Um, anyway, a lot of exciting stuff there. And then of course, uh, uh, Chad and Janice did their second month of one Ruby and worth noting, I just mentioned it, didn't I? Did I say one Ruby? Ch Dwight Mary Lee just did their first month of two Ruby. I think I said that right. Anyway, congratulations to you all. Top 20 real quick, and then we'll move on. We've got the, for the month, we have Raynetta and David DeVoe rocking out 15th place with 10 Achievers Club points there. Brian and Kerry Foss in 14th. Jamie and Matt Summers with 12, already almost in Achievers Club 15 with a bunch of days, or at least several days left in the month, half of the month almost left. Uh, Dr. Marlon and Sharonda, Hester in fifth place with 22 and Alan and Nicole with that's us uh, in first place. Okay. Well, that was monthly quarterly quarterly. Uh, where's quarterly right there. We've got Kyla and Adam in 17th, Brian and Carrie in 14th, Zane McCourtney in 12th, Jamie and Matt in seventh and Nicole and myself in first. Congratulations to you all and everyone else that is impacting lives out there that may, whose names may not be on the <laughs> leaderboard. Um, all right. Lawrence, you about ready. One more, a couple last things. Right. Did you all know? Good. 
Did you all know that in the back office of your website, there's now new reports? And I wanted to show that to you. If you have not seen it real quick before I turn it over to Lawrence, here we go. One more screen share. You got to know this because this is valuable stuff. This is stuff we've asked for and Neolife listened and delivered. So back office of your website, when you go to my team, now this is a, this is a dummy website. If you log into the back office of your website, you can click on preview a club member's website on the left side on a desktop. And that's what I did. And you can see what a club member sees in their back office. If you're ever trying to help a club member, come okay, backing up. That's what a club member sees. So you can do that in your website to see what a club member sees and then direct them to right here where you upgrade a promoter or whatever it is you're trying to direct them to. Okay. But I digress. Under my team for members and promoters in your back office, you can go to a free, free. Yeah, it's free a three for free downline report to see your entire team who has one of their three, two of their three, three of their three, where they're at in the process. You've got a free uh, product dollars. You can see right here, all of your team, how much free product they have sitting in their bank account. They may not even know about unless you follow up with them. Are those two cool reports right there? All right. And there's something else challenge. You want to know who in your team's in the challenge and where they are in the challenge one month, 90 day or one year right there challenge report you can see a challenge report for your whole team you can see a free product points report for your whole team you can see three for free reports for your whole team and anything for you this is under my team so you would think logically it's your team not you and you would be correct if you want to find your reports you would go to bu -bu 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 reports your stuff has been moved from my team to report. So that's where you'd go to find your convention incentive tracking, your three for free, your account sheet, your monthly statements from the past, your history. Okay, pretty cool stuff. Just want to make sure you all know about it. Doesn't do any good if it's sitting back there, all these great tools to help you build if you don't know. All right. With that being said, Lawrence, founder, co-founder with his wife, Marjorie, who shared Neolife with us 22 years ago by the best of my recollection, recollection, and I've learned so much from Lawrence, so much wisdom, multiple six-figure income earner, multiple seven-figure income earner over the years um, in Neolife, 30 years or so in Neolife, I believe, and just a ton of wisdom that Nicole and I both have learned so much from. So honored and uh, grateful that you make time to hop on here, as you always are, Lawrence, and uh, share with all of us this morning on how to get a new promoter started right. Is that correct? Yep. Thank you. Thank you, Alan, for all you do. <clears throat> Congratulations to everyone on those step ups. <clears throat> it means they're impacting people and uh, more people are being touched. And um, today's topic is, you know, something to me that's very important because I think all of us listening want other people doing the business with us. And we all want greater duplication. And all of us, I think, would love to have people constantly telling us, thank you for helping them have success. And that's, and so again, the title of this talk today is making sure your new recruiter, the person you recruited, is starts out on the right path. And the question might be, you know, what's the right path? You know, that, that's the path that gives them the best chance of taking action and staying in Neolife to use this Neolife business to accomplish their goals in life. And if, and if we want them on this right path, we need to grab hold and take action on some of the things we're going to talk about if you want to help them get on that right path and have a greater percentage of chance of succeeding in reaching their goals. You know, if, if you could pick today a choice of either being the top recruiter in Neolife, who recruited more people than anyone else, or you could choose to be the person that's an average recruiter, but your people that you recruit have the greatest percentage of success. I myself would rather have the last one. I would rather the people that I recruit 
experience success at a higher percentage. And I think that in turn makes recruiting easier if you've got good percentages that you can talk to the next person. And that's why I tell people when you get somebody signed up in your business, treat them like gold, even that first person. I've seen so many people worried about recruiting a bunch of people when they get started. And we do want to touch and reach as many people as we can. But when you help, you know, people don't care how much you make. They care how much you can help them make. And so if you can take your first person and you can help them to earn $1,000 a month, then the next time you try to recruit someone, all you have to say to them is, hey, the last person I, you know, that I picked to join my business is making $1,000 after six months of doing this business. Would you like to be the, the next person I take underneath my wing and train? Well, do you think recruiting becomes a lot easier then? Of course it does. So again, you want to help your new people have success as much as you can for your part. So again, you know, you can't do all, you know, you can't do all the work for them, but you can help them have the best chance of success. And it, and it might surprise you to realize that a lot of the million dollar a year incomers in, in, in network marketing, a lot of them haven't signed up as many people as you might think, but they've done a good job of training those people. You don't want to be one of those people that, you, you know, you're having people drop out as fast as your recruit, which has happens in a lot of network marketing companies. Safely doesn't happen in Eli because our products are so darn good. It keeps people in there. We have such great people doing the business that we have people that stay in the business. But again, you want to keep as many of those people as you recruit as you can. I've talked about it, but we need to keep hearing that example I give. It's doing this business is like pushing a car up, up a hill. You don't want, you know, you want to keep pushing it up till you get up to the top where momentum kicks in. And that's what you want to do with a brand new person that you sign up. It's, it's not easy signing up somebody. You have to go through a number. I call it a pearl business, pearl hunting business. You have to pull up a lot of oysters and open them up to find a pearl. And so when you find someone, it's so easy to relax and that is not when you need to relax, like pushing that car up the hill. That's when you need to keep really giving your attention and effort is when you've got that brand new person signed up because that's the most excited, you know, they're going to be unless they have fuel added to the fire. And that's when you get a brand new person. What you want to do is add as much fuel to that initial fire, because again, Everything brand new has something exciting, has, you know, it produces enthusiasm from us. And, and so you want to take advantage of that while you have it and really use that time and set up a time to talk to them. And yes, you want to get them in the getting started, you know, video, you know, to look at that and follow up with them and look at it with them, I think is important. And then ask them what they got out of it and help them to do those steps and, and our getting started paper that we have on our website. You want to get them in that, but I think you need to set a time that you also set up if you can to meet them, either doing a Zoom call meeting with them or in person, better yet, you know, but you determine that for your situation and that person. But, you know, and go through the catalog with them and get them excited about all the different products there and teach them how to just to read it can do a presentation you know so it's it's a great thing to do with your first new person but but what you have to realize is this that first 30 days is so critical that they're in the business it's the black hole i talk about in network marketing is the person's first 30 days because that's when a lot of people drop out in essence it's what happens in that first 30 days usually shows you the percentage of chance of them succeeding. If no action takes place, that, that excitement starts wearing off and, there's, and you're going to have to resell them. And it's harder doing that than it is doing a good job of that first time when they're excited and they just signed up and you add all that fuel then. That's the way to get them over the hill.
so they can start going downhill, which is a lot easier than pushing the car uphill. And so during that first 30 days, people are going to fall into, you know, one or two groups most of the time during that, that first 30 days. And uh, you need to realize that. And, uh, you know, the, you know, the first group is, uh, you know, uh, those that, uh, that get, start taking action and get success and continue to go on and grow their business. That's the first group. And the second group has, I call it, two different types of, of experiences. Uh, one is those who never take action. And when I meet with somebody, I like to use this statement. I say, can I tell you what the worst thing is about this business? And I lean into them, which I get their attention when I say it. And they say, yes. And I say, it's that this business costs you so little to get involved. And why is that the worst thing? Because I know if you put down uh, a quarter of a million dollars by a franchise, or you started a small business, uh, the average person starting a small business has to invest $55,000. That's the average small business. And I say, but I know where you'd be if you were had that kind of money involved. I know where you'd be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, where you would be. And I know you would continue to be there until you started making a profit or it went out of business, which 50% of those people go out of business after investing at, you know, on average 55,000, 50% of those go out of business. But I know where you'd be this next week, in the next month, in the next year. But because this costs you so little, it's easy to just never get around to it. And I like to talk to them about that because I think it brings a realistic picture to them. So the, again, in this second group is two people, and that's the first one that never takes action. The second one is even worse group to me. And the, that's the people that took action and didn't get any success from their actions and they end up thinking they have a problem. And the problem is themselves. They're not right for this business. This business might work for others, but it won't work for them because they're not good enough. That's the group you do not want your new recruits to be in. So again, you need to take advantage of when they get started. And I call it, to help give a, a visual of it too, Another visual, I call it getting them across the line principle. And what I mean is think of an imaginary line today. And on one side of that line, it's easy to quit the business or never do it. The other side of the line, it's easier to stay in the business and continue to do real life business. You know, where they make that commitment, they're going to keep on going no matter what. So today's talk is how to best help them get across that line to be serious about building the neo life business. And so again, there's one side of that line where it's easy for them to quit. The other side of that line where it's easier to stay in the business. Our goal is to help people get across that line. And that takes effort on our part. And that takes us holding their hand and walking, helping walk them over that line by helping them experience enough benefits that leave them feeling it's easier to stay in this business, better to stay in real life business than to not be involved in it. In other words, you want to get them across that line to they want to marry real life, make that commitment to death do them part. You know, they want to, no matter the ups and downs in life, they're going to hang in there. And getting a marriage usually takes purposefully wooing them and helping someone. So let me ask you some questions to help you to see what you need to do to help them get across that line. And I want you to think of people. I also want you to think of a brand new distributor. It's like a baby that you hold in your arms. You know, we just had our 18th grandchild uh, delivered. Got another one in the womb. 
uh, or the other, her other son and daughter-in-law. But think of them as like a baby. They, a baby needs a lot of help. You can't expect them just to walk out and go get their own, walk to the refrigerator and get their own food and, and everything. You know, to go to the bathroom, you know, to walk to the bathroom, you have to bring the bathroom to them, right? <laughs> As it were, getting rid of that waste. And so you need to, you know, so again, how can you help them over that line? One of the ways, wouldn't you say, of helping them is to help them have a good experience with the products that'll help them to stay on that side of the line. I remember a, uh, a guy, one of the first million dollar earners in one of the network marketing companies, um, you know, first one to make a million dollars a year. And he talked about one of his greatest distributors, his biggest downline came from him going three levels down to help a customer to lose weight one that was frustrated, not having a good experience with the product. And when somebody doesn't have a good experience with the product, it, the negative effects go up and down. And so he helped them to have success. And they, they weren't a person that was wanted to do a business, but that led them to getting telling other people about the product though, and got somebody down line of them that became a star and that made them a lot of, of money, my friend, a lot of money. Because again, he helped that person to have a good experience with the products. And so and do you think if people don't take the products or don't have a good experience with the products, are they going to, again, uh, do you think they're going to probably be successful and stay in the business? Of course not. So again, help them. And weight loss is one of the hardest things to do. And so, you know, haven't we seen great success with one of our distributors being the, the star of helping people you know, the people they've helped, like, like John and his wife, to have so, so much success with the products and losing weight? Of course we have. And so, and again, that led to business because they helped them. And so, again, help your person have success. And so, what are, you know, so, uh, you know, if they pay money to go to a convention and get to see the big picture, come to a wisdom builder retreat and get to see the big picture, do you think they're going to have more success? Of course they are. Again, you've got to remember, you know more about this business than they do. So many people recruit somebody and they just back off saying, well, I don't want to be pushy. I don't want to, you know, look, you're called to be a leader. I mean, who wants to sign up under somebody that's a worse leader than them? Everybody wants somebody that's a better leader than them. And they're looking to you for a leader. If you've led them in to, into the business to sign up, they're looking for you to keep on leading them, not to desert them. So lead them, take, take, be confident. You know more about convention than they do. Help them to help them, encourage them to get over that line and take that step of signing up. If you show no confidence in how important convention is, how are they going to have confidence enough to put their money into it? You know, I think you'd be wise. A lot of you, if you know the person, they have good ethics to say, look, if you don't love it, I'll pay you back that money. You should have that kind of confidence to be able to say that. Say, that's how much I believe it's good for you. But you got to go. And you got to pay attention the whole time. Take notes. Meet people, but if you do, if you don't like it, I'll pay your money back. That's the kind of confidence you have to have if you want to build a business. If you want to put your money where your mouth is, you need to look and see where is your confidence level at. And again, if you can get them to convention, we know the percentages the people stay with it. The, the business, they build bigger businesses. If people make friends in Neo life, do you think there's a greater chance of them staying in Neola? Of course there is. I mean, we've, we've talked about the example of John and Amanda Smith, how they just went to Wisdom Builders Conference, having never tried the products, weren't looking for a business, but they met people and created friendships that said, hey, we want our kids to be around this. And so again, if you can help them to create friends, it's, and we, I've talked about the percentages at our last retreat of people 
And I know it's shocking, hard, people had a hard time believing it, but so few people make friends today. We live in such a different society than our forefathers did. People don't even know their neighbors, a lot of people today. And so again, if you can help them create friendships, and that's why when you get them involved, you need to introduce them on the phone and Zoom calls, however you are, you need to get them connected to, to other people, take them out to lunch, help them meet some other distributors, you know, breakfast of champions, get them to some meetings to meet other new life distributors and help them to create some friendships if you want to keep them in there. I mean, people join sports teams, they join the military sometimes just to be part of a group. We are missing that so much today. And so, you know, if you want to, your people to hang around long enough to grow in their skills, to improve. Because you know, if they can go to these trainings and learn these skills, it's not gonna just help them to build a new life. You know that it's going to help them in every area of their life, be a better mate, be a better parent, be a better friend, be a better church member by learning these skills that we teach in the wisdom builders in new life. You know, if they hear, you know, if they hear enough, if they hear stories of other people have success in the business, success with the products, do you think that's going to help them to be more, to co co come over that line, to stay in the business when they hear all these things and think, what if that could be my friends? I could have some friends that have that problem. And, that, and I don't know about it yet, but they're going to need these products. I've got friends that have financial problems and, you know, this thing is working. So make sure you make sure when you get them, when you have that meeting, that you, you make sure you have them signed up in both our Facebook groups, both for the products, testimonies, and for the business testimonies, the ideal business. one, Because that increases their chances. You need, you know, when, when they understand who, what these products can do, do you think that helps them? to stay in this business longer again, of course. So get them listening to Lawson because nobody will help them to get a bigger picture of what they have in their hands. And the people around them that they love and care about, they need these products. Lawson will do that. People will work for money, but they'll die for a cause. Get them seeing this cause. Lawson can do that. Help them to, to realize one out of two of their friends are going to get cancer. That's the percentages. One out of two of them are going to die by a heart attack. And we can help those percentages for their friends not to be in that group of the 50% that happen to. Can't promise them, but we can increase their percentages. If they make a public statement at a wisdom builders retreat, uh, that they're going to build a business. If they make that public statement, do you think that helps them stay in the business? If, if you get them right off the bat when you meet them that first time, you get them sending out texts to their friends, hey, I'm doing, you know, I've started a new business. Will you just take a, a minute to look at this three minute video, you know, about the breakfast pack or whatever, Pro Vitality pack, that three minute video? And you teach them, literally do it for them, either on Zoom showing them or, you know, or in person showing them how to send that and give them the text, whether, you know, whatever you want to use, whether, hey, are you taking supplements? Would you like to know? I just listened to this video on what to look for in a supplement and send them the link, show them how to send it and have them say, hey, let's just, let me just, you know, let's just, why don't you send 25 right now? Just take you a few seconds. Let me show you how fast this is done. Now, if they make that public, you think they're going to want to quit now that they told their friends about it? No, get them moving right then. Plus, you want to get them success. And they can't have success without taking action. You want to help them feel comfortable doing this business. That makes it easier for them to stay in it. So you showing them how to do it and you helping them to do it helps them. Again, they're a baby. Treat them like such. Take leadership. You know more than they do. Don't sit back and get self-conscious and be afraid of being a leader. They're looking for that. Most people grow up in a world, I and mean, you gotta realize the world we grow up and we grow up with our parents tell us what to do and they do 
you know, at first they tell us what we can do. Then we go to school and they tell us what we need to learn. We go to college, they tell us what we need to learn. We go to a job, they tell us what we need to do. And then you're expecting them to be self-motivated by themselves. You're not giving them any input, telling them what the next step is. That's, that's just insane thinking. It's terrible thinking, it's hurting them. What's the hardest thing for this for people to deal with in this business? What, it, what is it? We all know it's fear, it's rejection. Learning how to recruit successfully, that is the hardest thing. They're a baby, they need you by their side going through those things. They need your help to experience success. Otherwise, they're gonna think they're the problem, they're not good enough. So help them at this beginning. You know, you know, teach them, tell them, use these words. I hope you'll go back and look, listen to this and write down your notes. I thought about giving you my notes, but I decided, no, that wouldn't be a good idea because you need to listen to this enough that you hear it and you write it because that helps you remember it better. These are things you need to do. You know, they need to be like, what's your birthday? You need to be able to, these things need to become second nature to you. And you need to teach them and you need to say to them, say, you know, just like, you know, uh, you know, uh, this is just like music, you know, you, you know, at first you're going to make mistakes, but I'm, and you need to think of yourself as like a music teacher that you're there at the beginning to help encourage them because it's not very easy when you start learning a musical instrument, you make all the sounds are horrible that you're making, you hit, miss the note most of the time and they need somebody right by them sides. It, it helps increase their chances of continuing on if they have a good teacher that encourages them and every little bit that they do right, they're saying, yes, that's good. And helping them to know that, hey, they just having somebody by their side to say, hey, if you keep going by this, I think you're gonna be good. Again, one of the greatest gifts you can give them is getting them over that line for it being easier to stay on that side of the line. They're going to inherit them. Thank you for helping them do that. You need to know the game you're in. You need to know the rules and the stats that you need to know and do to help you win. In the first 30 days, the first 90 days of this business, the stats are, I listen to one of the biggest trainers in, in the network marketing. And he says the stats in our part in network marketing are, if a person hasn't earned a check in their first 90 days, they have a 20% chance of staying in the business. If they aren't earning something during that first 90 days. If they do earn any check for even a dollar, their retention rate is 74%. What do you want? 20% for your friends and your recruits? Or 74%? Help them to earn a check. Help them to have success at the beginning. And they're going to stay in there. So this is a metric you need to realize and learn, and you need to help them. And so, you know, part of this, again, your, your game plan with a new person. I'm sorry I'm going over, but I think we need a few more points. And I'll, and I'll wrap it up, but you need to validate their decision when you meet with them. Everybody has that buyer's remorse. That's, they, they doubt themselves and they sometimes have family that help them doubt themselves. And you need to say, this is great that you've stepped out to be an entrepreneur, that you want to write the script of your life, you know, that you want to start your own business instead of working for someone else to reach their goals. You want to, you started a business to help you and your family to get the things that you want to provide for them. And you need to find out what their why is because again, their why is what's your, it's gonna help you to know how to make, motivate them because they're not here to fulfill your goals. Everybody's got different goals of why they get in this business. What's not important to you is important to them sometimes. And you need to tell them what is your why and, and, and tell them, say, don't, don't tell me what you think will impress me. Be honest with yourself. What will motivate you? What why will motivate you? You know, is it a brand new car? Is it helping your kids go to private school? Is it is it your, is your why that you want to one day you've got a terrible boss and you want to one day walk in to your boss and say, hey, I just can't afford to work here anymore. I'm making more part time than I 
and that I make in this full-time job? Maybe give them that illustration. Say, is that your why? You know? Is it to go on vacation, to go on a nice vacation and not have to look and, and worry about every penny your family is spending? What's your why? And then, and, 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 and try to get down to you see, unless you're showing emotion about their why, you probably haven't really gotten to the why that's gonna motivate them. And that's an art, learning how to do that. But you'll never get to learn that art unless you do this a number of times, have a, sign up a number of people and go through this and try to help them to pull out their why. And again, second thing you need to do is help them set expectations. And I've sort of talked about that of, of telling them. And, you know, on one hand, you want to let them know success or failure is up to them. You know, we ultimately, you know, and like everything in, in life, they're going to hit wrong notes. You know, when you're learning a sport, you're going to miss some shots, miss hitting the ball. But give them the illustration. Say, but, you know, in baseball, uh, you know, you could hit one out of three times, get a hit. And you can make millions of dollars just by one, two misses, two failures to one, you know, and one success out of that next one. And Babe Ruth, the greatest home run hitter for, for decades, was also the greatest strikeout hitter, but he always had this mentality. He knew his percentages. He said, you know, he said, okay, well, I'm getting closer to my next home run, my next hit. Because I just, I just, I got so many strikeouts and oh, I got a lot of them. So man, I must have a lot of home runs coming, a lot of hits coming. And, and tell them that's the kind of mentality you need to have. That's part of life of anything that you're going to, at, especially at first, have a lot of notes. And you're going to have ups and downs in life. And, and, and ask them, say, when you hit those ups and downs and you have it in this business, just like you have it in everything, you know, how do you want me to help you? When you get those times, let them tell you how they want help. And then you, and then you need to come into them and say, oh, you really want me to do that? And have them tell you, you know, you want to do that so they know you're here to help them. They're asking you for help, not you pushing them. So that's important to do. And tell them what we you hear so constantly as saying in the Wisdom Builders team, the Neil Life. Most people, and tell them this, most people overestimate what they can do in a short time, but underestimate what they can do in a long time. And I think it's great for you to say, how long have you been in the job market? You know, how long did it take you? You know, you need to apply this to that person. Uh, every situation is different. If you think they're not making $100,000, then you ought to say to them, say, how long did it take you to make $100,000? Oh, you haven't made it yet? Okay, so if, if five years from now, you made $10,000 a month doing this part-time, that would be tremendous, no matter how many no's you got in between times, if you got that, would that be a tremendous success to you? I mean, is there any way that you, at your job that you're going to, you know, in the next five years, you're going to be making $100,000? For some people, you need to pick a million, but, but you, need to, you need to slow down and do this to help get their mind in the right ear, because so many people start off with unrealistic expectations, and that's helping them have failure. That's increasing their chance of failure. So the learning to do what I just said is really critical. It can really help them to have the right mindset going into this. And so, you know, let them know that, it, that in a job, usually a lot of times you get started, you know, you, you start making, you know, good money, immediate money with a job, but the increases are not that much usually unless you go from janitor to CEO. And whereas in this business, you don't make a lot up front. It takes a while to get that, like starting a business. Most people don't get into the profit margin. Most people don't realize this, even in franchises, they have to put this in writing that most people, they spend a half a million, a million dollars, they're not even gonna get back to break even for five years. But in this, but the, again, the profits in the end of the constant money, the bigger money they can make than, than they can make in a job. And it's the same way in this. And they just have to hang in there. Are, and you ask, are you committed to doing that? I mean, I, I want to have, I want to be honest with you, realistic to you, because I want you to make that bigger money if that's what you want. If you just want a thousand, that's fine. But if you want to make the bigger money, I just want you to realize it's going to take a while. And even that thousand, because again, when you make that thousand, it's, you know, it could be residual uh, money. 
Where's your job? I mean, you know, you stop showing up at work. There's no chance of you continuing to make money normally. Whereas this business, you can build up the business to whatever size you want, get it stable. And then you can a lot of times count on that money because people can't go find better products than these. They can't find a better business opportunity than these. Again, the average person starting a business spends $55,000 just to start a small business with 50% failing in that first year and losing all that money. So this is an unbelievable opportunity for you. And I just want to know, again, do you really want me to, if I see you getting that low, not showing up for Zoom meetings, you know, not showing up for Breakfast of Champions, and I see you not signing up people, you know, do you want me to call you and talk to you? But again, you know, I, I think that you need to help them have success. That is the best thing you can do is to, and, and to tell them and to say to them, would you like a brand new surgeon working on your friends and your loved ones? Somebody that's never done surgery before. Is that who you'd like doing surgery on your loved ones? Ask a question. No? Okay. Then let me help you with your friends because these products could maybe prevent some of your loved ones from having surgeries. Let me be the one. Bring those people to me. Let me do the presentation for you. Let me answer the question for you. Let me help them if they see something they like to, to, to get started. Let me help you with that. But then say to them, but, but I do want you to know, one of our other goals needs to be is to get you independent as quick as possible. Why? Because you're setting an example. You need to realize this right now. Sooner you start taking action, you're setting a pace for your future people that are going to sign up with you in this business. You're setting that pace. I want to help you set a good pace, a pace you can be proud of, a pace that you can want people to follow because they're going to do what you do. If you do nothing with this business, then their chances, their chances of, of doing something and succeeding are less. Don't you want the people you sign up to have success? Then let me help you. Let's take action. Bring prospects to me. Go through your phone. And tell them, and this is critical to say to say, we don't need them to sign up. Because a lot of your friends and loved ones are going to be the slowest in signing up. But we need to get that process started. See, they know they're going to see you next month, next year. They know where to find you. And they're just, most of them are just going to say no. And then look at you. What's, did, did you keep that? Do you still think after six months, after a year, that these are the best products in the world for somebody to take, or are you gonna be on to something else? So they're gonna wait and that's okay. But you wanna start that process because those are the people you'd like to have success the most. Those are the people you don't want. You wanna help them to have a less chance of getting cancer, a less chance of getting, you don't wanna find out heart disease, heart attack. You don't wanna find out later that they had cancer, that they hadn't told you about it, they had digestion problems, had their you know, intestines taken out. When you could have helped them not to go through that, you want to at least know you told them about it. And so they can't blame you and you can't blame yourself because you gave them the best chance to know about it. You want to start that process, but you don't need those people. I just want you to know that. Don't worry about what the reaction is because we will teach you how to find unlimited leads. We've got training for that of other people. And some of those people will be easier, faster to sign up takes a lot of work. I don't want to act like this is any get rich quick scheme. But you don't need those people, but you do need to get started. And if you don't feel confident enough in going to them, then you shouldn't go to anybody yet. Because you don't realize what these products that you have in your hands can do. And you need to listen to the loss. We need to talk more. I need you to do a better job of letting you know what you have. We need to go through this catalog, let you understand why our digestion products are better than what they're going to get over the counter or from the doctor most a lot of the time. And so again, you doing this and setting their expectations up is so important. And I just can't stress it enough. This, this is why it's so critical that you come alongside of them and, and make sure they, they're signed up for the text messages. Help them to do that. Help them to get that so, you know, signed up for convention. Help them to get their first check, their first great advancement. Set deadlines when you're when you're talking to take leadership. 
kids would not read their books if they didn't have a test, if there wasn't a day set, hey, next week we're going to have a test on this. They'd never do it. When you tell them to listen to Lawson, you need to say, hey, when can you listen to this? Because I want you to call me up immediately and tell me what you learned. Because what you share, you know, everything, the first time you look at any video in your life, you know, the first time you listen to any Zoom call, I want to talk afterwards because I want you to verbalize it back what hit you because that will stay in your mind better. Science tells us that. If you just listen and think inside your head but never verbalize it, your chances of remembering that and utilizing that information is way smaller. I'm not asking you to memorize everything Lawson said or you learn in the Zoom, but I do want you coming back and tell me what hit you out of that. And so again, it's so important when they do that, then you set another assignment, you know, to look at a, to listen to another audio, to look at another product, you know, of the fast facts. Uh, you know, you always want to have a next step for them and to be close to them during these first 30 days. Again, where can you go to find products like this? Nowhere. Where can they go to get a business opportunity like this? Nowhere. As I tell people, you can't build a business with a product that was proven by our government in a multi-million dollar government study in humans to raise people's immune system, 37%. Again, those are people that didn't have a sickness. When people have a sickness, they have a real low immune system, it's easier to raise it up. But if you can't build a business that you can't build a business and that's what you have to offer them. Or otherwise they've got a job they're hang, hanging by a thread. All it takes is one person over them saying, hey, I got a cousin that can do that job. I want to find a reason to fire them. Or whatever, you know. And so but this is, you know, what you have is a gold mine in your hand. Treat it as such. Treat that new person. You've got to be that leader for them. So again, I know I've gone over time. Um, so I'll stop right there. Wow, Lawrence, thank you so much. I, I just want to say I've got pages of notes here. Um, and I want everybody to know that's on this call or listening on replay later that I really love how everything I heard you say this morning, I'm going, yep, he did that. Yep, he did that for us. And for those that don't know, Lawrence and Marjorie enrolled Nicole and I when Nicole was struggling with her health situation 22 years ago, we were just looking for a health solution. We weren't looking for a business, but he just walked us through um, everything. I mean, you know, just, I won't repeat it. Just everything he said he did, um, he did with us and um, love that. Just helping us become, you know, raise our belief level in the company and our belief level in the products and make sure we were taking the products and feeding, dripping on us along the way with different audios back then. We didn't, have zooms or videos. I guess we didn't. It was audio, all audios 22 years ago. But anyway, now that I think about it, what an amazing opportunity we have today with social media videos and all the stuff we have. I mean, it's, it's crazy when I stop and think about it, that people built seven figure businesses with no internet and no cell phones and no social media, having to burn tires off their cars. And they couldn't have a conversation unless they somehow got someone's phone number. How would they even get someone's phone number? unless they drove to meet them at a coffee shop. I mean, the scale of that, and they still scaled it to having tens of thousands of people in their team. And now we can do this from our phone. Anyway, tangent, sorry, just got exciting. Um, thank you, Lawrence, appreciate that. Appreciate everything you shared. Can't wait to get this uh, video up in Wisdom Builders where they'll get posted in the Wisdom Builders Facebook group, I should say, not wisdombuilders.com where I put in the chat, the wisdombuilders.com, our team website is where the audios that are being talked about are found under, I think it's product training. And um, anyway, I just thought it was awesome. Renetta DeVoe, thank you for getting these posted every Friday uh, in Wisdom Builders Facebook group so we can tag our team that might have missed the call and um, go from there. Thank you all for joining us and have an awesome weekend. Can't wait to see you all next Friday. If not before, have a great one.